is up you guys? If you're new here, hello, my name is Brittany. I know it's been a minute since we've done a makeup video, but let's get right into it. So today we are going to do a Sephora VIB sale haul. So I didn't pick up too much stuff. I know Christmas is coming up and I know I was on vacation, so I want to have money for those things. So I just picked up a few things that would be like reminiscent to my trip to Disney. So this was more of products that either just launched or just stuff I've been eyeing. Just the normal type of shit. I just was intrigued by these enough that I wanted to buy it, so we'll just get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that I picked up was this little gift set. This is like their holiday set from Milk Makeup. You get seven products in this, seven mini sizes, and it was $35, which I thought was a really good deal. The main reason I was looking at this is because this Kush Mascara, this retails for I think $12 for a mini. So you get all these other products in here for like 20 bucks more. So I thought that was a really good deal anyways. I just thought this would be a really nice way to get a good look into the brand. And then if I'm really impressed by a lot of this, I will continue to use more of their products. So in this little bundle, you get a cooling water under eye deep puffer, a watermelon brightening serum, a matte primer blur stick, a Kush mascara, a lip and cheek sheer tint in the shade work, a highlighter in the shade Lit, just for like an everyday highlighter, and then a holographic stick in the shade Supernova. So it's like a holographic highlighter stick. So really good variety of stuff. I know that I will use everything in here as well. So that was another reason I was like, I know that I'll use everything in here. So that price is so worth it to me. So this is the only thing I actually haven't tried out yet, but I will let you guys know in a future video, my thoughts and opinions on that. This next thing is something I'm so fucking in love with and that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. So I actually purchased the Ambient Edit Volume 4 palette, the one that's pink. I purchased that one initially because I thought I would like that more because I really like the fact that it had the permanent shades in it or at least it had more permanent shades in it than this one. I fucking love this palette so much more than that one because I tried that one before. I actually think I did a video on my channel using it for like the first time and it just didn't really work for my complexion. I feel like it works better for more of like fair to light skin tones whereas I typically like to be like light medium to medium skin tone. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times already and then the inside of it is just so fucking beautiful. This is actually what's all over my face right now. So I have the bronzer, both blushes on, and the highlighter, that is everything, and it's fucking gorgeous. Like these make my skin just look so nice. They make it look just so youthful and refreshed and just overall just like luminous. So I actually use like both of these two shades here because my bronzer brushes are typically bigger, so I end up mixing those two together a lot of the time and it still looks beautiful. So I know I'm going to get use of every single shade in this product, so this is more worth the $80 price tag to me. Whereas the other one, I knew I could only use like three or maybe four pans in it, so that was not worth it to me, so I actually am sending that back, but I am going to hang on to this one, and I fucking love it. So this next thing up is going to be an eyeshadow palette. This is the very first eyeshadow palette I've ever gotten from Huda Beauty. This is the Nude new palette and let me tell you guys she's got me so impressed with her eyeshadows and this color story in this eyeshadow palette is everything it is so beautiful it looks even more beautiful in person than it does like in pictures and stuff and these like crushed metallic shades they are so fucking gorgeous so i'm already in love with this palette i could have done without the concealer in this palette because i know i will never use it but if you guys want to see videos with this palette let me know I think this is so beautiful. It's so pigmented and it just blends out to perfection. Like, it's just a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. Like, if you're into like movie tones, this is the palette for you. It is so beautiful. The only two shades I haven't used yet are the two glitters. And when you swatch this in store, I'm just gonna warn you now like, when you swatch this in store, it swatches like shit. Don't ever judge eyeshadows by swatches in stores. Just think about how many fingers are touching it and how many like greasy fingers. Ugh, like, that just grosses me out so much, but just honestly, if you're that into a product like this palette, I did not care how it swatched. I did not care about what anybody said about it. I was so into this, just the color story of it. So I swatched it and so I'm like, ooh, this swatch is like shit, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it myself and I'm gonna try it myself and I fucking love it. So I encourage everybody, like if you're into a palette or any product for that matter, if you're into it that much, I would encourage you guys to buy it and try it for yourself because it will never perform the same as it does in the store as it does if you buy your own with a fresh product. And swatches, they don't tell you everything about a product either. So take swatches with a grain of salt, take testers with a grain of salt for that matter, 
And if you're really interested in the product, I would definitely encourage you guys to try it and buy it yourself. So this, I highly recommend it. I think it's beautiful. If you guys want to see more videos on it, let me know. And I can definitely do that because I fucking love that palette. So next thing is going to be kind of a repurchase. This is like a half repurchase, half try it out again. So I picked up the Drunk Elephant Night and Bright little like minis. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil with the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I get this mainly because I was traveling. I got this because... I needed this marula oil in my life because this is the best oil I've ever tried on my face. I never thought I would see the day that I put an oil on my face <laughs> ever because when I was younger, I used to have super oily skin, but it was because I never did a skincare regimen. I never washed my face. I never did anything like that. So it was like my skin was overproducing oils. And then as I got older and as I got more into skincare, I started incorporating like moisturizers and oils and serums and all that sort of stuff. And I just feel like oils do so well on my skin. And then I'm also going to be trying out that TLC serum as well because I've tried that in the past and I wasn't really blown away by it, not for like the $90 price tag it has. But I figured this is a good way to try it. It gave me a tester of the Marul oil and that lasts me actually a really good amount of time for being as tiny as these are. So I would definitely encourage you guys, check out Junk Elephant, especially now. Like they have amazing bundle deals. Like my all time favorite one is that TLC Sakari Baby Facial. Like if you love a tingling treatment and you have textured skin, that is one of the best freaking products I've ever used. I have two of them actually upstairs right now or else I'd be buying another one. I would have hauled that right now because I think that's such a good set. And then that Sakari Baby Facial with the Marula Oil, is like the best cocktail ever for textured skin. I love both of those. So I got this more or less because I was traveling, my skin was going haywire, it was super dry, and then I actually ended up purchasing another product to help with my moisturization as well. And then this is going to be that hydration product. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Now, I don't use this as a mask all the time. I do sometimes, but I use this a lot as a moisturizer. But when I layer this on top of my Confidence in a Cream from Mitt Cosmetics, you bet your ass, my face feel like it has a whole new layer of skin. Like, this makes my skin feel so good. It makes a huge difference in my texture, hydration. It just makes everything look amazing. Like, my skin was breaking out horribly. I think you can see it in one of my vlogs. I actually applied this on the plane. You can see I have, like, a huge pimple over here. As soon as I used this, because that was the first time that I used it was on the plane, as soon as I used this, it was gone, like, the next day. I'm like what is in this stuff because it just made everything on my skin look so much better. It honestly reminds me of a moisturizer version of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Like it makes your skin feel like face tone because I feel like after just getting back from traveling, my skin looks amazing. And where I feel like this makes the biggest difference for me is in my under eyes. Like I've been using the Believe Aqua Eye Balm, I think it's called. It's in the, like the little blue tub. I've been using the full size of that. I'm actually almost out. And I, I initially had a sample of it and I love the sample of it and then I got the full size and I just don't really notice that much of a difference. Like I notice minor differences with my texture. As soon as I started putting this on my eyes because you can use this on your eyes as well, I notice a difference in my under eyes. I'm like, what is in this stuff? So I encourage you guys, if you guys have been eyeing this or need a really good hydrating product, this is the one I would go for. This is honestly my number one for my winter skincare slash all year long skincare routine, I feel like this is a game changer with moisturization. So even if you have oily skin, dry skin, I would encourage you guys to try this out. Like anybody can use this. I think it's fucking amazing. This has just really blown me away because I hear everybody talk about this and I honestly don't even know if I would have purchased it if I wasn't traveling because my skin, like I said, it started to freak out and I was just like, okay, if I'm going to try it, now's the time to try it. And I am so glad that I did because it honestly like transformed the way that my skin was. And now that I'm thinking about it, on the second day that I was in the Dominican, my face was burnt red. You guys probably saw it on my Insta story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I've been all over Insta story. It's in my description box if you guys wanna follow me there. On the second day that we were in Dominican, my skin was fried. Like we got so burnt the first day that we were there. And my skin on my face didn't hurt at all, which is odd. Usually I have like, really tender, like, you know, like burnt skin. Usually it hurts at least a little bit. I was using this, my skin didn't feel dry. Like my skin still peeled like it normally would. I didn't feel like my peeling was as bad. I felt like the recovery time on my burn as well because we were in the sun every single day. I felt like my recovery for my burn 
was sped up because of this because this was really the only thing that I was using as soon as I got it and as soon as I felt what a difference it made for my skin I cut like everything else out like I didn't use oils at night or anything like that I was just washing my face and I would put this on as a moisturizer and that was all that I used and I felt like this really made a difference. All right, so next thing up is going to be another Hourglass product. This is another Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Foil. I had every intention to buy every single one of these because I'm obsessed with the shade Reflex, so I had to get another one, and I said it in one of my recent videos, like, I will own every single one of these because they're so beautiful. So this is going to be the gold shade, and these have been sold out, like, everywhere. Every single Sephora online, they were sold out but I'll give you guys a little swatch of what this looks like. They're so beautiful. Like one of the most beautiful eyeshadows I've ever owned in my entire life. But the best thing that I like about them is they don't emphasize texture on your eyelids. Like I have very textured eyelids and these give you like that metallic without accentuating all of the texture on your eyes. So I love it. I think they're beautiful. I have the shade Reflect very lightly on my eyes right now. And I love that they can be really subtle, but then you can build them up to be like bam in your face. So. I love these. I had to get another one. I will own every single one of those. And then I also got another like pot eyeshadow, which is really weird. Like usually when I get eyeshadows, I only get like eyeshadow palettes. I don't know what's up with me lately, but I ain't mad about it because these are so beautiful. I want to own all of these as well. These are from Marc Jacobs and these are the Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow and I got the shade Glam Noir. You guys, this is so fucking stunning like the swatch isn't probably gonna be that good because they do swatch pretty chunky but when you apply them to the eyes like look how metallic and just glittery and amazing that looks like I wore this if you guys saw on my Instagram I had that like white dress on when we were in Dominican this is what I wore on my eyes I wish I took a makeup picture but of course I didn't this is what I wore just all over my eyes I just patted all over my eyes and then blended the outer edges and just kind of smoked it out such an easy product. You do get quite a bit of fallout when you do that, but I would just apply my eyeshadow first, which is what I did, and then do your face after. These are so fucking beautiful, and just the metallicness, oh, they're so good. I want to say Marc Jacobs is on sale, like 20% off right now on the Marc Jacobs website. That's at least for like Cyber Monday. I don't know when this video is going up yet. It's just so beautiful, and it's truly unlike anything I have in my collection, and I love a good like smoky glitter eye. I'm totally into it, so definitely recommend these. I think they're beautiful, and the packaging, like, I'll show you the it's packaging really quick. Like, Marc Jacobs killed it on the packaging. It's just a gold, shiny lid. Oh, I love the pot. I love that you can fit your finger in there easily as well. That's the only thing I don't like about the Hourglass ones is they're so tiny, so it's like you really got to force your finger in there, you know? These pots are just nice and big. If you have nails, you'll be able to use them as well. So that is the two little glitter eyeshadows that I got, and they're both absolutely stunning. I love both of them. And then the next thing is going to be something I haven't used yet. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I got the shade Y325. My friend Emily has been telling me to try this stuff for the longest time, and this was actually one of my first foundations I ever bought, the original one. And then she has been raving about it lately. She's like, girl, you need to try it. So. I saw it. I didn't think the price was that bad on it either. I think this was like $35, which for a Sephora foundation, that's to me not bad at all. Anytime I'm shopping for a Sephora foundation, I'm thinking like $40, $45 easy. And I really like the packaging. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I like these because I feel like you can really squeeze out all the product and you're not really wasting that much product. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. If you guys want to see a review slash wear test on this, just let me know. And then the last thing that I got was from Jouer, and this is like the second thing I've ever gotten from them. I haven't really indulged in them much, but I got the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I hear Makeup by Cheryl talk about this all the time. This is like her number one lip product, and I've used this, I think, once because it's been in this bag. So I really liked it the first time I've used it. I just haven't used it enough yet. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. It's just a really nice, like luxurious lip balm. At least that's how it feels to me so far. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But that is going to be everything for this little Sephora haul. So not as much as I expected to get, but Christmas is coming up. I know a lot of good sales are going on, especially like this time we got Black Friday that just passed. We have Cyber Monday, which is, as I'm filming, it's tomorrow. So. Tons of good sales going on, but all the stuff I will keep you guys posted in a future Sephora haul follow-up video if you guys want to see that. So 
If you guys want to see that, stay tuned in the future. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace!